A Delaware pediatrician indicted on hundreds of counts of child sex abuse. Prosecutors say this could be the worst such case in U.S. history. CBS News correspondent Jan Crawford is in Lewis, Delaware for us this morning and beyond disturbing, Jan. Erica, we talked to a half dozen parents who know their children was molested. They asked that their identities be obscured, but their pain is obvious. The parents learned of the horror just before Christmas. Earl Bradley was arrested after 15 years as a pediatrician in the town of Lewis, a sleepy fishing village of 3,000 on the Delaware shore. Almost everybody probably knows somebody that, yeah, their kid went there. Bradley was a popular doctor with children. A visit to his office, called Babies Pediatrics, was like going to an amusement park with a Ferris wheel and a merry-go-round. But the rides and the toys were a lure by what authorities now call a sinister predator. There were children being molested probably on a daily basis in that office. The grand jury indictment in Sussex County charged Bradley assaulted and raped at least 103 children in the past decade, often while the parents were in the room, including this mother of a five-year-old. Um, he said he was checking her for a bladder infection and he actually inserted fingers inside of her. And it was very quick and I didn't question it because I trusted him. For years, parents and colleagues were suspicious and complained about Bradley's behavior. One fellow pediatrician routinely called him a pedophile, but no action to suspend his license was ever taken and no charges were ever filed. Officials say the indictment isn't the end of the Bradley investigation. For some parents, that's terrifying. I look at her when she's laying there sleeping. I'm just thinking, the poor girl, you know, I just pray that she's not one of them because she's so sweet, <laughs> you know, because he's my little baby. Investigators are going to continue to sift through the evidence. And when you think about Dr. Bradley having thousands of patients over the last decade, authorities say they expect the number of victims to rise dramatically. Erica. All right, Jan Crawford in Delaware this morning. Jan, thanks.